And also, my second part of that would be, do I have or do we have the right to use the chief of police to do a private investigation on that person? That's what I'd like to know. <clears throat> the first answer, uh, the only time corporation counsel or special counsel could be appointed on behalf of an alderman is when there's an attack against an alderman, not for proactive. I've never heard of a board of aldermen suing a member of the public. They have every right to come in and speak. I think. I mean, if I recall, I don't think any names were said, so you probably have to clarify who you think the old man that was attacked. <clears throat> as far as part two, I'll defer to the chief, but you, you have to make a complaint before there's an investigation on a person. So I think that's the answer in part two. I'm, like I said, I'll defer to the chief. So there has to be a complaint against the person who you would investigate? Yeah. I don't, we investigate criminal I don't complaints. Want, I have no such criminal complaint. complaint. I've done no such investigation. I don't know okay. what you're looking for, if that's the answer. Or something. Yeah, no, it's fine. I just want to know if a person from the public that attacks us, are we protected? <clears throat> no. The Constitution yeah. allows those people out there to say what they want within reason. If you think you were slandered, that's something different. Mm -hmm. And if we were slandered, then we would have... That's not sitting. That would be private. That would be private. Okay. No. Thank you.